5.1 solving systems of linear equations by graphing. First, we need to know what a system of linear equations is. Um, a system of two or a set of two or more linear equations in the same variable is called a system. So anytime you have two or more equations, that's a system. And if it's um, linear, if the, both the equations are linear, then it's a system of linear equations. A solution to a system is an ordered pair that will make both of the equations true. So when you put in an xy value for both, you get a true statement. So for instance, if I have, here's a system right here. A lot of times you'll see a bracket around a system like this, holding it together. So I'm saying, out of this system, these two equations, y equals negative 1 half x minus 2, and y equals negative 3 halves x plus 2, this is saying that x is 4 and y is negative 4. That point, or this coordinate, Will, when plugged in for x and y, will make both of these true statements. Okay? If it does, then this is a solution. If it doesn't, then it's not a solution. So, in other words, if 4, negative 4 gets put in for x here, uh, 4 here, and negative 4 for, for y, and I get a true statement, it means this point lies on this line because it's a solution. And if I plug in 4 for this x and negative 4 for this y, and it it makes it true it lies on this line. And if it lies on both of these lines, then it's a solution. It means that it will cross, it, that point will be the exact point at which these two lines cross. That's what we're looking for. So if this is a true statement, um, we would be saying that. Okay. Now that would not be a good representation since both of these are negative slopes. So maybe you have a picture that looks like that and something that, um, oops, there's another one that looks like that, okay? And they cross right there, and maybe that is at the ordered pair, 4, negative 4. Okay, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and plug it in right here. So we're going to put substitute um, negative 4 for y equals negative 1 half times x, x we're saying is 4, minus 2, okay? And so if I do the math behind it here, it's now again negative 4 equals, well, negative 1 half, negative times positive is negative. 1 half of 4 is 2, so negative 2 minus 2. Well, negative 4 does equal negative 2 minus 2, because negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. That is true. That means the ordered pair 4, negative 4 is true for this equation. Okay, let's go ahead and switch colors and try for the other equation. So let's go ahead and put in. Or, or negative 4, excuse me, for y equals negative 3 over 2. And we'll put in 4 for x plus 2. Okay, so negative 4 equals negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6 plus 2. All right, let's we'll see. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 equals negative 4. That is true. It's true for this. That means this is actually the point at which those two lines intersect. That is a solution to the system. Now, if the point wouldn't have worked in either of them, it has to work in both. If it doesn't work, if it only works in one, that means it's on that line. But it has to be where they cross, so it has to be on both lines. So if it doesn't work in one of the lines, you're done. You just don't even have to test anymore. Okay, so let's try this one over here. Let's go ahead and switch it up here. Maybe... Uh, and we'll call this x and this y, just because it's x, y coordinate. And negative 4 times x, which is 1, plus y, which is negative 2, equals 3. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, plus negative 2. Well, negative 4 and negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 is not equal to 3. Therefore, this is not true here. We frown on that. doesn't work out. That means this is not a solution. So 1, negative 2 is not a solution to the system. Whereas in the previous one, we did find that 4, negative 4 is a solution.
All right. Let's go ahead and try another one here. We're going to actually graph some and find the solution. So um, I'm going to go ahead and graph y equals mx plus b. I try to have everything in that form to help out. Remember, uh, slope is m, y-intercept is b. This helps to graph them. Okay, so I'm looking at this. My I'm going to call this y1 and y2. So my first equation, my second equation. The 1 and 2 don't do anything other than help me identify the equation. So y-intercept, negative 3. It rise 1 and run 3. Down 1 and over 3. All right, use a straight edge. You really want to use a straight edge on these. Okay, and I'm going to label it y1 and y1. If you have a different color, it helps sometimes to use that other color. So I use that color there. Maybe I'll switch up colors for the next one. Okay, so I'll go y-intercept of 1 and a slope of down 1 over 1. And you can already see the solution on this. And I'm going to go ahead and keep graphing it. Some teachers don't care if you keep going once you find the solution. But uh, since you can see where the two lines cross or intersect, that's your solution. Okay, but we'll finish it up. Okay, so there's that graph. Uh, my solution is right here at the ordered pair. 3, negative 2. That means the solution is 3, negative 2, which would mean if I plugged in or substituted 3 in for x, so 1 third of 3 is 1 minus 2, or minus 3 is negative 2. And if I substitute 3 in, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. All right, it works out, 3, negative 2. Let's go ahead and try another one here. We're going to call this one y1. And notice y1 equals negative 1. That means it crosses the y-axis at negative 1. It only crosses the y-axis. That means it's a horizontal line going through the y-axis at negative 1. So that is y1 right there. That's the other way to do it is to just label both sides of the line. You don't have a uh, different color, but we do, so that's good. And this one I'm going to go ahead and put in slope-intercept form because um, xy-intercept form doesn't work well here. So I'm going to subtract 5x over. So I get 2y is equal to negative 5x plus 8. And then we'll divide by that 2. So we get y is equal to negative 5 over 2. And then make sure to divide by the, the 8 by the 2 as well. Okay. And so y-intercept is 4. Slope going down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and over 2. Well, there it crosses right there. So you can already see uh, where the two lines intersect. However, we'll draw the line in anyway. This is y2, y2. And it looks like our solution is at the ordered pair 2 and negative 1. 2, negative 1. So that means 2, negative 1 is what we think the solution is. If we plug or substitute them in, negative 1 substituted in for y, negative 1 equals negative 1. That works. 2 for x, 5 times 2 is 10, plus negative 1 for y, negative 2. So 10 plus negative 2 is 8. Yeah, this is your solution. All right. I always like to circle it and label it on my graph. If you're in my class, you definitely should do that. Okay, well, there's a couple special cases here. First, uh, what happens if the lines don't intersect? Well, looking at this one right here, let's go ahead and call that y1. y intercept the 2, go down 2 and over 1, or a slope of negative 2. Okay, so um, some of you may see it right away in the equation. Uh, so many of you, will, I'm hoping everyone will see it once we graph them. But there's my first line. We'll call that y1. All right. Go ahead and y2 here. So y intercept the negative 3, down 2 over 1. We'll continue that pattern going up. So did I mess up? I did mess up there. All right. Up 2 over 1. All right. So... Looking at that, notice those lines are what we call parallel. 
they'll never intersect, and they're parallel because they have the same slope. Okay, parallel lines meaning the same slope. So if you can identify that before you graph it, if you're in my class, I'm fine with just saying, hey, it's no solution because they have the same slope. They will never intersect. That's uh, abbreviation for solution, so no solution. If you say no soul, that's good for me. All right. Well, there's another special case. Okay, so we have the no solution special case, and we have this one. Let's go ahead and divide everything by three here. Okay. And so the, by dividing by three, we get y is equal to negative x plus two. So that's y one. Negative x plus two. Not y comma. That's y one. So go to two. Go down one over one, keep doing that, continue to pattern out, and we see that right there. Okay, and y1, y1, okay, and let's go ahead and switch up the colors here. Okay, we're going to divide by negative four, and we get y is equal to negative x plus negative divided by negative is positive 2. And so looks like y intercept 2. And down 1 over 1, well, it seems like, not seems, it actually is, it looks like it's on the exact same line, right? Those points lie on the same line. So the same line, same slope, same y-intercept, infinitely. many solutions. That means all every every solution for XY will actually work for you. Okay, well that's all I've got for you.